Welcome to the Mini Mice Show. I'm Mama Mouse Cynthia, and these are my two Mini Mice. I'm Anissa. I'm Sienna. <laughs> How's everybody's Friday going? Happy Friday, everyone. Happy the Friday. The weekend is here, and it's the weekend before the 4th of July, so that's why we have our festive ears Reppin'. on. Rep. So, yes. America. I mean, we're all about America. America. So, America. Right? I'm all for it. All yeah. for America. We so, love our country. Yes. We had to uh, represent where we're from. We're America. So anyways, um, that's why we have our festive ears on and our red, white, and blue. I don't know if you can see it all that well, but we are, we do have our red, white, and blue on. Um, As you guys may have heard on today's Mini Mice Minute, uh, happy 11 year anniversary to the extremely underrated Ratatouille. I love Ratatouille. Yes, it came out on this day in 2007 and we love this movie. Love it. Like, love it. Um, I honestly feel it doesn't get as much love as it should. Like, right? No, it doesn't. It's such a good movie. I love it. It's Mm -hmm. one of my dad's favorites. Makes me hungry. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, of course. But, I mean, it, it's so good. It's, it's literally one of my Got favorites. Got all the feels. I will, yes. I love just sitting down on a whatever weeknight or weekend evening and just sitting and watching it. It's just so good. Like, yeah. I love it. Especially um, when it plays We have a question. Where are the ears from? Um, the ears, Walmart? I believe, are from Walmart. <laughs> we Walmart. got them from Auntie Rita. We got them from uh, Auntie Rita. Auntie Rita. Oh, the question is from Annie Ta three two six. She's asking where are our ears from, and our festive ears are, like I mentioned, um, are from Walmart. Walmart. Instagram. For people listening to the podcast. Oh, okay. For people listening on the podcast, I am wa- I am watching our um, our live on Instagram, and um, our Instagram friends join in. And they um, comment, and we read their comments, and we pretty much interact with them throughout the show. So if that's ever something you'd like to do, um, join us on Instagram, and you can be a part of our lives. Yay. So. Yep. Sorry. Got a little stumped there. Okay. Well, speaking of be movies. Be part of the magic. Yes. Be part of the magic. Um, speak. <laughs> Speaking of movies, we are one week away from Ant-Man and the Wasp. We'll be hitting theaters exactly one week from today. So um, who's excited? Um, I honestly feel like there hasn't been that much of a buildup for this movie. Not at all. So I I know they um, they had the the, the teaser trailer in Disneyland, in Tomorrowland. I haven't watched it. But I really feel like... There hasn't been that much of a buildup. Yeah. So no. I'm really, really Ant-Man hoping. Ant-Man was fire. It was a good movie. Yeah, Ant-Man was great. So I'm really hoping Love this Paul one Red. is just as good. So I don't think it will be. I think we'll all find out next week. So we have our movie pass. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll use it to go see that. Um, the new 2018 AP backpack hit the parks yesterday. Um, I don't know if you guys all saw out there. Or you guys all saw on social media. Um, it's it was pretty much a craze. Yeah. Um, like, people were going crazy. It's a lounge fly. It's a lounge fly. Um, 2018 lounge fly it's, AP exclusive backpack. It's pretty. And it's really, so really pretty. cute. It, it's definitely cute. It's but, not Dumbo, but it's cute. Right. But is it cute enough to spend the $75, $80 on it? To or be completely is it, honest, I just want the, the tag. I would want that on my back. The 2018 tag. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's Just a picture <laughs> of the backpack right. I mean, I think it's really cute. But I think um, my personal opinion <laughs> is I think <laughs> that the exclusiveness of the bag is what's really making it are making people go crazy over it. It'd be better so, if it was like, like a cheaper <laughs> backpack and they kidding. sold the keychain yeah. for cheap That's, and then you can just attach the keychain. Yeah, maybe sell the keychain. I guess it could do that. I mean, I don't know. But I do think that because of the exclusiveness of it being an AP bag, um, that that's why it kind of went crazy. Yeah, I think but, so too. But I mean, they had them in a, a few stores last <laughs> night and they sold out. So, Charlie, está bonito. <laughs> yes. The tag. <laughs> the tag. Uh huh. Okay. Well, speaking of backpack craze, um, 
the rose gold backpack, the sequence backpack, um, was such a high ticket item that they sold out upon first release. Um, uh, and now Shop Disney announced, well, they announced yesterday that they would be selling them online at midnight last night, and apparently they already sold out. Um, me personally, I'm not a fan of the backpack. I am not. Mm. This lady hecka ran into me and <laughs> she almost tore my shirt. Yeah. So <laughs> there are a lot of stories online like, of people what? who have already purchased this backpack and the backpack is actually, they're showing pictures of their clothes. I'm by no means saying don't get the backpack. If it's your thing, get it. But just, just a PSA that people are saying that the sequence is actually snagging their clothes. So, I mean, it's really pretty to look at. It's beautiful, but it's not my cup of tea. I mean, mine be so, just as painful as the ears. I will pass. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, imagine <laughs> someone wearing, like, an open back mm -hmm. shirt, and then it just keeps oh. scratching them Ooh, and yeah. scratching them. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. Like, no. No. I'm good. But, I mean, if you guys can all get your hands on it, and it's something that you want, then more power to you, and I wish you all the best, and I hope that you guys get wish your you backpacks. Wish you the best of luck. Yes, wish you the best of luck on getting them. So now to the big news this week, um, the new Play Disney app um, was revealed or released. Um, who downloaded it? From what we see, it looks pretty awesome. And we're going to actually have Sienna, who downloaded it. She was one of the first ones to download. Well, she was I the first one to download it first, in our house. Like it was, um, I pre-ordered it because I wanted to, I really wanted to have it. I, I didn't, I thought it was already out, so I... And I mm -hmm. thought it was weird that it wasn't on my phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me speak. No, it's not connected yet. <laughs> it's loading. It's Sorry. It's loading. But Bad she's going to give you guys a rundown but of I can how start it works. Or just give the ideas of what it is. So basically, it's like um, you're basically just playing games in line. But the kind of downside about it is you have to make a Disney World you have to sign in through Disney World instead of the Disneyland app. There's two app. options, though, for Disneyland well, and Disney to World. sign in to this, you have to use your Disney World account, which oh. I think is weird. Well, you have to create an account. You have Disney to create a World Disney World account. account. Not necessarily Disney World, um, like, in Florida, but, like, on, um, in, on, uh, online. Yeah. 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 You I have to create why. an account, That's weird. and then you'll be able to use um, the game in, in the parks. So you can yeah. do it in Disneyland, and then they do have one for Disney World as well. But um, it, the way it's looking is that it's really changing the game for how mm. people interact and so have fun. Basically, um, like you have these options. It says it's not working. So basically, you have um, the option to pick Disneyland or Disney World in like mm -hmm. a balloon. It'll show a balloon. Mm -hmm. And so I'd obviously pick Disneyland. And then it gives you the option to pick, like, for example, let's say I'm in Disney, Disneyland. Okay. So I go to Disneyland, and then I go to, let's say I'm in line for Peter Pan. So I'd press Peter Pan, and it's a game called Off to Neverland. But it won't unlock it because you have to be connected to Bluetooth. You have to be standing in line because it has to know your location. Yeah. And you have to at least have two to five players mm -hmm. for it to finally unlock. So multiple people have to join. And then there's also like these little stars that you have to have your Bluetooth on. And then um, it's like trivia. Like, That's what I was going to say. We actually... There's trivia. Me and Jose, Joey Osuna. <laughs> <laughs> we, sorry. We actually downloaded it in line. And we were playing trivia in line. And we did end up talking to a cast member about it. I don't really remember everything he said. But he did mention that you could listen to like the soundtracks of the yeah. rides that you were in line for while you're in line. Yeah, I saw online that you can actually um, play the music, the Disney music, there's Disney tracks that you can actually play and listen to, but that's an additional charge from the app. I think, I believe it's like a $9.99 okay. or $9 charge go. on the app for it. We're still learning the process. Yeah. Yeah, we're still, still learning new. it. We're so brand fresh. new and um, we're trying to do it live on... Um, on the screen behind us okay. right now to give you guys so a bird's eye view of how it Here you pick Disneyland. And then, so we can go to um, California Adventure now. So it basically looks like the app, except a little more animated. And so like, for example, let's say you are standing right here. There's like a, it's called Disney Color World, 
color wheel Sorry, one challenge. second real quick. The Disney Wizard says it's free if you're already subscribed to Apple Music. So I guess you won't have to pay the nine ninety nine. dollars um, so, And then these areas have specific Wi-Fis that you have to connect to to play these games. So like this one is called like Pixar Games or Pure Games. So you have to connect to that. And so, and then if you go to Hollywoodland, there's like these question marks, and then it says Hollywoodland Trivia, let's play. But yeah. So that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think it's going to take us all some um, trial and error and learning this app, but from the most part, it looks pretty fun. And just, um, I think maybe we should go live this week or maybe put on our stories while we're in the parks trying to attempt this new app. For the most part, I've tried it like trivia, but you for the you can't play a lot of games. You have to be in the park and connected to their Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. And some of them, you actually have to earn points in the games to pl- to unlock different games. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, so we'll learn. Some games. We're definitely going to learn, and apparently there's a lot to learn, so um, it's going to be fun. Okay, so our Pixar Pier experience. Last weekend, Pixar Pier debuted, oh, and we it was had amazing. It was so fire. much fun. I mean, it was literally, I mean, it was more than we could have ever imagined. Mm-hmm. Like, Disney, of course, outdid themselves, and it was just beautiful the the um just the way everything everything had its place and everything was so beautifully done and so well detailed mm-hmm. and it was just amazing I to look at day out. or night it was just a beautiful yeah. sight because it went from like oh you know it's coming out they're really gonna do this and then you see like the little drawings they had and mm-hmm. like Nowhere near as. It's cool. like, it's here. That's really it. <laughs> We're actually looking at Pixar Pier. Right. It was everything oh. I wanted it to be and Cute. more, especially the Incredicoaster. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm crusty. My favorite ride was the Pixar Pal Around. Oh. That ride gave me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I no. just watching you. I, 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 I was and at so the exit, screaming. the safety of the exit. Um, watching them up there screaming Could you hear and watching. I'm pretty their sure little, the people at Knots heard me. Yeah, the little cages <laughs> just dangling, and I was just like, "Oh dear God!" I went on with um, the second time, like my second time ever going on, but first time Pixar Pier opening mm-hmm. with Disney wherever we may go in Disneyland Eddie. There oh, was that, that's uh, like walking in the suicide. <laughs> screaming, and the people behind us were like, asked me. They were oh. like, "Were you scared?" And I was like, no, that was Eddie. <laughs> that was Disneyland Eddie. That, okay. was, Eddie. that was Eddie. <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't me. It was scary watching fun. you guys from the bottom. I'm sorry. You could not it was pay scary me to watching. get on that. I, well, it's scary for it me as a, a mom watching ride. you guys up there dangling because I, you could not pay me to get on that ride. Our friend, I'm um, sorry. Danette, she was holding on to the side for dear life with her legs in the air and she was screaming. Yeah. Nope. It's fun, though. Really Not my thing, but I know Anissa's favorite was the Incredicoaster. Oh, my gosh. She got to ride it how many times? Well, that, that day, day, I rode it, like, four, three or four times. Uh, and then, well, since then, I've ridden it, like, almost ten times now, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, in, like, a week or however. Not even a week. Well, let's it's just talk about opening crusty. morning. Okay, so opening morning, we're there before rope drop. We're at the gates, and well, we're waiting. Jose got there at 6.30, and he waited till, like, whenever we got there, which was, like, 7-ish. Yeah, we got there a little after 7. So he was towards the very front of the yes. gates. And that wasn't good enough because everyone just crammed in, and we, like, were waiting. Where was it? Like, right by the waterfall? We still ended up waiting close to a little over three hours easy for you guys to get on and cry a coaster. Well, we're talking about getting in. Getting like, just in. the getting in. Just the getting into the park. You think, okay, cool, sweet. We're right in the front. And when we got there, there was maybe, I don't know, 75 people out in the front. Wasn't so bad. And then right before they're about to open the gates to let everybody in, you look back, and holy moly, there's just a it's sea like of people. all the people. way to Disneyland. Yeah, no, it was, like, it was beyond bad. that. It was just, it was mad. Yet curious, there was like, still, to, like... A bunch of people, sorry, a yeah. bunch of people already. I didn't the- yes. see the far back, so I'm curious if they either had to curve it to, like, either 
downtown Disney, or they had to open the gates for Disneyland. Uh, no, no, I don't think they did that. But when they let us in, they let you in for rope drop, and then you go inside the gates, and then they make you wait down by, um, the, by Carthay Circle. They, they stop you there, and you got to wait again, and you got to wait a little bit longer, and then they start slowly, like, herding people in. And it was just madness. I mean, people were fighting crazy. with the cast members, and cast members are trying to keep their cool by keeping people cool. And it, you can just tell, like, it was just this one madness. Lady, she was trying to get this whole crowd that went far back to all move back, but that's hard yeah. to get all those people. No, it to was move. definitely it was crazy. But we were also surprised that within, like, by noon. Like, the crowds seem to have died down in yeah. there a lot. And the... the Pixar Pier is old news. No, <laughs> like the, line, the line and for Incredicoaster was, was, like, in the front. So it wasn't, like... I don't know. I just expected it to be way worse, and it wasn't. And, and when we were there in the morning, with the way things were handled, I think, by all the people and the crowds and this, the way... Yeah. It just seemed... I was like, oh, no. Today's going to be horrible. But it actually wasn't. We were able to do a lot and see a lot, and it wasn't that bad. Surprisingly, the Incredicoaster is already old news. Like, cars, fast passes no. are still going faster. The that lines ride. are still longer. That ride's yeah. the best ride ever. It is so sick. If you plan mm -hmm. on getting on, I highly recommend waiting till nighttime to fast pass it because Incredicoaster at night is, like, you get cheated during the day because it's so much better at night. And... I would wait for the front row, to be honest. It's worth it. Because everything's just happening around you. Just, oh, I don't want to give it away. I'm going to pretend to agree. <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah, are like, I've never true. been on, yeah. but... That's true. All they right. might get on at some point. Oh, I'm know. sure I will. Once I want to at least try it out once. Once in my life, but I mean, that's not the, today. Okay, so moving on. Um, I'll, it was fun. Mm -hmm. We had a blast, and we're still continuing to get to, get to know the new areas. I think for <clears> the most part, we... Um, we went through everything, but there's still stuff that we want to try and things that we want to do um, when we get there or when we go back. We'll be back uh, again this weekend. So, um, but it's just beautiful. I mean, even if you don't get on anything and you don't do anything, just walking in there and being in there, it's just really beautiful. And, and I highly recommend you guys checking it out for sure. Um, Aside from that, one of our favorite experiences this week in the parks was by far the Pixar Pals dance party oh, <laughs> in Tomorrowland that was so, at the so much fun. Tomorrowland Terrace stage. Um, they there's a DJ and then um, a few Pixar Pals come out. We witnessed um, Doug, Doug Russell, and Russell, Remy. Uh, Remy, Remy, Emil, Emil. Emil. Um, Green Army Mike and Men. Sully, Green Army Men, and Mike and Sully. I think that's it. That's and what we they're literally about. right there on the dance floor with oh. you guys, and they're dancing, and they're you're everybody's just cutting loose <laughs> and having a blast. We had so much fun. I mean, Anissa and Sienna hit the dance floor with a few friends one night, and then with Jose, and Jos um, Josiah, and Josiah, that guy Kalen. can dance. Oh, he dances. Gosh. Josiah Kalen. Um, He's a dancer. On Tuesday night. I wish I would have seen the incredible. <gasps> he was on that dance floor, and he was tearing it up, and he danced so good. He's quite like, the dancer. so good. I could just watch him dance because it's just so inspiring. Oh, was, he's so good. Like he's actually really good. So it was fun, and that was definitely a highlight for us Russell's this week. Russell's a good dancer, too. It's just fun Russell to see a bunch of down. kids. Yeah, you see a bunch of kids with their parents, and, like, there's no, there's no age, you know, like you can't be Mike's on the dance floor. You're too old or you're too young. Well, like everybody they played, just goes like, a lot of, a like, old, like, Disney Channel songs, so all the, like, teenagers got excited, like, for oh, yeah. Hannah Montana, they took it back Jonas to Brothers. Hannah Montana, Jonas Brothers, High School Musical. Anissa. Yeah, so Anissa yeah. was in... Heaven, we were getting flashbacks. So that was fun. So I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Once again, it's the <laughs> Pixar Pals Dance Party. Exactly. It's in Tomorrowland and Disneyland at the Tomorrowland Terrace stage. So highly recommend it, guys. Galactic Grill. Uh, now we're going to get into Anissa's favorite part, the food. The best food. part. Yeah. We all love food. 
Okay, so last week we were able to get our hands on the new Pixar Fest food guide, and we have to say it's actually pretty awesome. It's amazing. It's really convenient that we don't have to like go online and be like, what you know, what is popular right now at Pixar? You know, because like it's all new and you get lost. Yeah. Like, there's too many foods to catch up with, and Disney always comes out with new stuff, and it's just like, That's it was sick. nice to have an actual like. I try. I don't huh? No, I'm. Oh. The no, yeah, it. it's just like having a map, like you just, it tells you, so like if Toy Story is your thing, it'll say, okay, in um, DCA, Pixar Pier, Poultry Palace, um, they have the chicken drumstick box, and we tried that, and that was straight fire. Ooh, Poultry mm -hmm. Palace. It was so good. Didn't you guys, did you guys like it? Oh, I loved it, oh, and I yeah. honestly did not expect it to be that good. Mm -hmm. It was actually really, really good. It was so bomb. I was surprised. It was, it was yummy. Or um, there was also the, we got to try the Senor Buzz churros, which Ew. I was <laughs> not a fan of. The oh, no. Caliente not good. churro was disgusting. I'm sorry. I loved it. It's, if you like it's, hot tamales. It's like my top three yes. favorite. If you like no. nasty, not that good stuff. It's <laughs> not nasty. It's so good. It, 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 it definitely tastes out. like a red, what is it, a hot tamale, red tamale? <laughs> Red tamale candy, like the red candy. It literally tastes like that. I don't like that candy, though. That's, maybe that candy that's why. isn't good. You don't no, like it because you like... had it too much. But Boy, yeah, okay. you have you a had stash a lot of in it. your room. Yeah, she used to have a vase in her room full of the hot tamale candies. So I think that's why she's, like, over it. But the actual <laughs> churro was just so good. My husband so and I gross. thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, yeah, it, was it was really, messy, really good. Like, my dad Every had, churro is messy. Well, I mean, like, more than I, ever, like, it, like... No, like, when you eat, when you bite the into the pineapple was churro and you get, you get glitter all Boy, over your face. that's not what I mean. I mean, like, no churro's sugar <laughs> sheds that much. Like, there was red all over my dad's shoes. No, the oh. Star Wars churro was really messy, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Disney Wizard said, food is life, let's be honest, and I could not agree more. That's food is life. actual facts. That's Anissa's life. Yep. Especially Disneyland food. Mm -hmm. But anyways, there was also stuff in Cars Land. Um, like, for example, the supercharged cream orange shake. Um, that one, I believe I you want to try find, that. Where would, that, that was in, that's in Flows. That one's Flows. in Flows. That's Cafe. my next one I really want to try. We really want to try. try that. That sounds yes. so good. Uh -huh. Or if you're into, like, the Incredibles, who isn't? Incredibles is bomb. Um, Jack Jack, num num cookie. Oh, that was good. That was probably <laughs> my favorite it. thing that we tried. Yes. It yes. was big and it was warm and it was it was chocolatey. Thick. And she it was, was thick. thick. Yeah, yeah. She was Elastic Girl thick. Yeah, she was a or that cookie was Elastic Girl thick. Good, that's a good that's one. Yeah, Elastigirl for sure. But oh. I recommend sharing it with somebody. Yeah. Okay, Jose <laughs> eats a lot. Like, this boy can eat. And so can I, and we had to share it. <laughs> I was like, I'm full. I know, but that boy can eat. Sianna and I shared it, and I frankly think it was too much for her and I. Like, I was like, it where's was Charlie to help I us liked out? It. I was like... It was delicious, but it was a bit much. To be honest, I would have eaten the whole thing by myself. I mean, it, it's good. Oh boy. It's really good. But oh. I mean, there's so much. You, there's so much that um, Pixar Fest has to offer. So we yeah. highly recommend picking up the booklet. Uh, you can get it at pretty much any food vendor in both parks. Basically, um, anywhere it looks you can like, get food. It looks like this. It looks like that. It looks like it's how it that. looks. It's. I mean, highly recommend you guys getting this. You will not miss out on anything in the parks if you have yeah, one of those. There's a ton of stuff. But there's I can even like merchandise at the end. I can share some of Bing Bong's sweet stuff that's opening summer 2018. Oh, I'm ready. Um, there's a lot of cake pops coming out actually, like a lot. But there's gonna be a Wally and Eve cup like cake pop those in there. Those look so, so cute. Yes. So cute. Yes. Um, there's also gonna be. Um, an Incredible Crispy, which Ooh. sounds good. Strawberry Cream Fudge, um, a Joy Cake Bop, mm -hmm. Unicorn Bark. I mean, there's going to be a bunch of cool things. So yeah. we're going to stock up. The ones we've seen so far are really pretty. We have a really lot nice. to look forward to, so we're excited about all this. So. Still so much to we try. Come pick up Yes. A. Make sure you guys go Pixar grab Fest. one of those. Oh, who there's all the cake pops. Oh, yeah. The Doug one is so well I done. Love the I Doug. know it's so good. Yo, is that Mr. Potato Head? That's not oh. in Disneyland. Oh. No, probably Tokyo, to be honest. Ah, oh. just kidding. Okay, you have one last bit right here. Okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> Disney announced they will be holding a fried chicken celebration July 6th yeah. through 9th. Mm. Um, so we're going? Chicken's oh, yeah. life. 
Chicken's yep. my favorite. But fried chicken dinners can be found in two locations within the Disneyland Resort, the Plaza Inn and Flo's uh, V8 Cafe. So that sounds like our kind of celebration. Definitely our kind of celebration. Who I doesn't like love some fried chicken? Chicken That's everything actually is actually my favorite so smell when you're walking down Main Street is the fried chicken Her. From the Plaza Inn. I like that. Oh, it's so yummy. So I'm thoroughly, thoroughly looking forward to that. Oh, oh my God. That looks amazing. Oh. Look at how good that looks. We oh, should not you? do this before we eat every I single I week. I know. Okay, we're going to get to our show questions. And we want to thank everyone who submitted questions this yes. week. We really appreciate it. And uh, go ahead, Sienna. You go ahead and lead. Um, what do you see yourself doing who if asked? you... Oh, Inside Disney Official asked, what do you see yourself doing if you never liked Disney? Universal. <laughs> universal. <laughs> so, yeah, Anna Nisa chose Universal, and I, can't, I honestly can't answer that. A world without Disney, I don't want to know it. So that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. that sounds like a crusty life. So, well, yep. I pick Universal. Okay. okay, next question. OMG Marcus P. asked, what was the first Disney plush you ever owned? Um, I actually had a little pink uh, crawling mini mini mouse plush, um, and it was my favorite toy as a kid. I I, I loved it, and um, I honestly, yep, yeah, there I am right there holding You're my so my cute. mini mouse. Look at the little baby. That's me. Um, and believe it or not, uh, I bought or we bought Anissa the exact same one when yeah. we took her on her first birthday. So Anissa also has that same crawling Minnie Mouse plush. And, um, oh, I just answered your, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, well, mine <laughs> is, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like a little pink Minnie Mouse plush that's on top of these like letter blocks and then it's a rattle. It's a rattle. Yeah. You like, yeah. there's these little, this little holes like to hold it on mm-hmm. or hold yeah, on That to. was yours. It was a little pink blush mini <laughs> rattle. So it's, yeah. I thought I still have it. It's cute. It is. Yeah, we still have it. Okay. Mm-hmm. OMG Marcus P also asked if you had to design a perfume based on a Disney character, who would you choose and what would you make it smell like and what would you name it? Okay. I said I could not think of anything. So I was like, okay, Winnie the Pooh. Imagine one that smelled like honey and then the perfume bottle is like Wait. a honey jar. Sorry, go ahead. It's like I, a honey jar and it says honey. Like the Winnie the Pooh jar? Mm, yeah. I could have sworn he asked Disney princess. Not character in general. No, no just a Disney it's character. The only no, than mine is hecka lame. <laughs> well, you feel free to change it and answer it however you want it. You go ahead. Um, I, I honestly don't have an idea. I have no idea what I would choose anyway. Um, maybe not a perfume, but I would definitely choose like an air freshener, <laughs> and for me it would be like a Dole Whip or a Pirate Water. I think I would do that. Too, pirate actually. Water air freshener. Hit me up um, with that Pirate Water. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know they have the candles. They sell them on Etsy for both the Dole Whip and the Pirate Water. Just but like, imagine having like an air freshener in your like a Febreze, in, and you're just like, ooh, just, Febreze in the heck out, and just like, just, oh, Pirate Water for the perfume. Just walk inside pirates, then the mist will hit you. It's but just I like wouldn't want to personally smell like pirate water. <laughs> I, I think. Would... <laughs> 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 you think? <laughs> that sounded like the cinto. I know what Adisa is. Can I get the cinto? She wants to smell Star Lord like pirate every water time. like that. No. I want the pirate water. She wants smell. to smell like Star I wouldn't make it a perfume. Like, I would make it an air freshener. Adisa is Chris Pratt, so she can smell like Star all the time. Okay, next no, question. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> Next question is also from OMG Marcus oh, P. OMG Marcus P. asked, if you could ask Walt Disney one question, what would you ask him? Um, I would ask him, how does it feel knowing you created the most magical place on earth? Like That's you a good are the one. man behind it all. None of this exists without you. you. How do you feel about that? Like I can only just imagine like the grin he'd have on his face. So yeah. that's what I would ask him. I don't know. I think I would ask him how he truly felt about like seeing all the joy that 
Disney. That sounds funny because he is Disney, but like <laughs> what Disney <laughs> what he has brought, brought yeah. to people's well, lives. What he brought. And I also would want to know if there's anything that's been done that he would want to change. Like, did we do something wrong? He's like, you really bought Lucasfilm though? No, no, no. No, he would be like, Why, why'd you get rid of my redhead? That's what I think oh, he would say. I think say. he'd be like, y'all crazy. Get the cinto. For that. I'm about to yeah. haunt you. Yeah. <laughs> get the cinto? Really gonna yeah. get the cinto. Okay. Yeah. I said I would want to ask Walt Disney advice on being an Imagineer. Like, tips, something that's great, like something basically, <clears throat> like everything he did made like this, made Disneyland. So I would want advice on how to make my rides that spectacular. Yeah. Okay. Christine Does Disney asked, who is everyone's favorite prince? Huh? Oh. Who's your favorite prince? Eric. Prince Eric. Oh. Same here. Prince Eric. He's gorgeous. Um, me, it's Prince Charming. Okay, but and, your next one's also mine. And Flynn Rider. But Flynn Rider is Flynn Rider. Is like, Flynn Rider because my husband looks like Flynn Rider. Sorry. He used to look like Flynn Rider. <laughs> that's not why for me, <laughs> but it's because of his personality. Like, that his is, personality, his personality is, awesome. is everything. He's, but he's see, that's dad, how dad, dad acts he's too. He's dad. Like, he's Charlie. Dad's that's not like, really a dork, though. Dad's not a dork, he's too but serious. He's, he's got that wise... Like, oh, like about how him. Flynn like, goes, yes. Why is everyone singing? Yeah, like, like it's, why? that's Charlie to me. So he reminds me so much of Charlie. Not only does and he, he remind me of him how he like acts, it. but he reminds me in his appearance. <laughs> I, I swear on, I swear, guys, we were, the the, we, were the to- we were at the Disney store when Sienna was about when it know, came three out. or so. And we we're walking through, mm. and she sees the Flynn Rider Barbie. Barbie doll, and she's like, "Look, mommy, it's daddy." <laughs> so, but what you doing up there? <laughs> Boy, what's it? So, oh, yeah. did you like this? He looks like him, whether he likes it or not. Okay. So, <gasps> oh, what did you do? Press the forward button. Girl. No, not the back. Forward. One more time. What there you go. Do? Sienna, not me. Oh boy, I didn't okay, even touch that. Okay. Let's see. We are on. We're on. We, here, let's, let me help you do this. Okay, we're on the, okay. Cause Christine Does Disney also asked, which castle would be your dream castle to live in? Um, probably the OG. I do, yes, Shanghai's the dream, but I think I, I would even live, answer. I would live in the <laughs> Sleeping Beauty castle. Okay. I originally wanted the original one until I found out by Josiah that there isn't even space to live in that castle. It's too, like, small to live in. Like, there is not even space for one room. It's, like, big, but I feel like it's, like, flat. (laughs) In my mind, it's perfect. So I'm going with the OG one. Well, mine is Shanghai because it's not only so pretty and it's, like, the best park. One of the... It looks like the best park and it's, like, looks like it has the best rides. It's the biggest castle in all the Disneyland resorts. Yeah. So I live in a very spacious castle. Mm. All right. Okay. Good answer. Right here. Okay. Cool girl. Cool girl. 24747 asked, if you could have any Disney movie made into a live action, what would you like to see? I said Pinocchio. Boy. We all chose Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Yeah. Okay. We all chose Pinocchio on that one. So, yeah, if you could have any Disney movie made into a live action, we would all choose Pinocchio. Mine was first. Um, cool Girl 24747 also asks, What first got you guys as a family into Disney? Um, I'll go ahead and take that one. Um, for the girls, it was me. And for me, it was my dad. So I actually answered this question in our very first podcast show, but um, I grew up going to Disneyland my whole life, so I wanted to make sure that that was going to be the same for my girls. I wanted them to have the same experiences I got to have, um, and Disney being the main one. So mm-hmm. yeah, I think every child deserves Disney magic. Cool girl 24747 also asked, have you guys ever thought of making vlogs for YouTube? Um, we have, and it's something that is probably going to be in our very near future. So when, um, we, (laughs) 
<laughs> Next question. So stay oh, tuned. Oh, That's oh, all oh, I'm oh, going to oh, say oh. is stay tuned. Okay. Um, Am Franson asked, what's your favorite color? Mine is blue. It's been blue my whole entire life. Mm-hmm. It's, I even had a blue party, and then it was also my papa's favorite color, so that had a lot to do with it. Blue, yeah. mainly because of papa. Yeah, mm-hmm. And it's pretty. And it's a gorgeous color. Mine are purple and black. I, mean, I love the color purple. It's just so beautiful to me. <laughs> and it, like different, I like clear. Different <laughs> clear. I actually had a friend in high school that used to say his favorite color was clear. I like light tan. <laughs> light tan. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, purple and black. Uh, Carlos won Disney 4 asks, not including any part of the Disney parks worldwide, what other parks would you really want to visit? Um, uh, oh. Um, I used to really, really, really want to go to Cedar Point. It's in Ohio, and they have, like, the biggest, craziest, craziest roller coasters. There's, like, this one that goes, like, 500 feet, and it just drops straight. Like, it's insane. I've been asking my dad for, like, since 01. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was even like, <laughs> I've been asking forever. I just want to go. Oh. I go okay. So. okay. Well, mine, oh, go ahead. You can go ahead and answer it. Mine is uh, Universal. I've already been there, but I want to go to Hogsmeade and see Hogwarts. Because who does, who, what Harry Potter fan okay, doesn't? I didn't know that counted. Because I was like, I've already been to Universal, so. Well, we all well, know you want to go to Ohio. Well, any better. of the Disney parks worldwide. But, know, it, but I've Cedar been Point Universal. has been the one that you've been wanting yeah, to go to. I've so been that's to a fair that answer. Um, me, I don't have an answer because I, if it's not Disney, for me, it's like, eh. And that's so honestly like how I nothing. feel. Like when we go to like uh, Magic Mountain or, or Six Flags or even even Universal, I'm not that thrilled to be there. In all you honesty, you just want to go to Disneyland. I just want to be in Disneyland. That's just that's just me, my personal opinion. Okay. So Josiah Kalen asked, "What's your favorite time of day in the parks?" I said nighttime after fireworks, like maybe like from ten to closing, because it's like when all the like. All of it dies down and all that kind of stuff. So, like, you can walk on most of the rides. I think that was, like, the, the main answer for all of us, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Yeah, definitely the nighttime after fireworks. Josiah, Go- Kaylin, he likes golden hour. Yeah, he, oh. I was going to say that. <laughs> Josiah, Kaylin also asked, what's your favorite city you've been to? Uh, me, it's New York. I've never been there, so I love, I've always wanted to go I love there. New York. New York, uh, I got to go with my husband, okay. and it's... <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. That was okay. fun. Mine is Seattle. I really liked Seattle. I liked uh, like all like like closest to like the water area, like with the big Ferris wheel. And then we went to this um, crab shack. It was amazing. And then I liked also being in the actual city <laughs> part because we stayed in a hotel. Uh, and it was really nice. Yeah, it was nice. Um, me, it used to be actually like here and like socal visiting out here has been my favorite i always wanted to move down here so to be honest probably here (laughs) okay (laughs) josiah kaylin also asked if you could live in one land in disneyland or dca which one would you choose i said cars land because like they have radiator springs racers they have mater's junkyard they have um mine's blinking um luigi no the Rollicking Roadsters, and then you go outside, there's all these stores, and then Flo's breakfast. It is nice. Just go Cars outside and have some breakfast at Flo's. Okay. Um, I think, like, Tomorrowland, I love Tomorrowland, but, like, if I had to really live somewhere, I think just Fantasyland, because it's so original, it's so magical like sorry I didn't, even, I didn't even realize I said that um it's just she's reading my sentence no I'm sorry <laughs> it's it's fantasy land and Dumbo's there like come on yeah I chose fantasy land because of its nostalgia and it's magical so I oh, love being there wait, it's beautiful wait critter country obviously Winnie the Pooh I didn't even think of that Ooh, fake, fake fan. fan oh <laughs> sorry okay Josiah Kalen also asked, in the movie Finding Nemo, would you rather be lost like Nemo or searching like Marlin? Um, I would rather be Nemo because I'd heck of be chilling. I'd be like making my friends and I'd be exploring. 
And I just enjoy it, you know. Marlon's, like, stressed the whole time. His kid's look on. <laughs> I'd just be like, she'll find me. And then he's with some <laughs> um, girl that doesn't remember anything. Yeah. yeah. I, hands down, would choose Nemo because I would end up losing my mind with that amount of stress. Like, and I can't even imagine. I'm really trying to get lost. Like, <laughs> like, I'm already stressed out enough just, like, with, like... If I, I want to get yeah, lost. Like, I have enough stress going on. And to, to actually have you lost in, like, this giant sea? Oh, kill me now. <laughs> I know. Okay. For me, it's um, Lost Like Nemo. Because, like, it's, like, maybe some possibility Nemo purposely went lost. Maybe he needed a break. Mm. <laughs> My True. question is why? Where, that question, like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy that's question. A crazy just, question. Josiah has a lot of time on his oh hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> that cracks me up. So random. Okay. Diana W1972 asked, if you could bring any character to life, who would it be? Um, Star-Lord's already alive, so, like, <laughs> I can't really choose him. But... Dumbo, what the heck? He's so cute, and he just—I want him. I want Dumbo. Um, I would say like the characters, like all the characters from uh, Cinderella, the little animals, the mice, and the birds. I could definitely use their help around the house. So that's mine. Mine is like Mijo. Can, Go back you, <laughs> can you guys guess? <laughs> He's like this big. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Obviously, um, Winnie the Pooh is my favorite, so I'd obviously. And he's so lovable. Like, he'd be such a great friend. I think so. Good job. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Jacob Ducret Ducret one one asked, where in California that you have not visited yet would you like to go to? Uh, Living in California my whole life, there isn't much I haven't seen. So a place I'd actually want to go back to visit again, like at the moment, is San Diego. Okay. Me too. Mine would be San Diego. I basically have never been because I don't remember. I was like two. Yeah, you were like two when we went. And also, I really want to go to the San Diego Zoo. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yours is the same? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. The Disney MD asked if there's (laughs) anything... You could change about Pixar Pier to make it better. What would it be? I would have for sure gone harder on those decorations. Mm-hmm. Like when you walk in, like it's just Pixar fest. I really thought they'd like, like opening day, just be like, and they didn't. Pixar. I was actually really surprised did. they didn't. I would add more cocoa because there's only that one sign, and I mean, like, I need aguas chicharrones. Mm-hmm. I need all that stuff. I need, I need my Basically, Mexican food. Basically, come through Disney. Uh, real quick, Shruti is asking, Shruti Sri Sushi? It's Shruti. <laughs> it's Shruti. Do you miss being in NorCal? Um, no. I'm, sometimes we do, but no. I miss not the people always. from <laughs> NorCal. Like, no. Shruti, I miss you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, the Disney MD asks if there can... Oh, wait. We just did that one right now. The Disney MD asked, with all the Disney movies that are coming out... Wait, did we out, answer this? Which... Yes. We'd add more cocoa? We just did that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> with all the Disney movies that are coming out, which ones are you looking forward to? And Sienna can't pick Christopher Robin. <laughs> okay, me would be Toy Story 4, but I'm not going to listen to that rule, so my main one is Christopher Robin. Okay, yeah, she would definitely choose Christopher Robin, but because she's not, and because she can't, it's, she's picking Toy Story 4. Uh, me, Mary Poppins. I am a huge fan of Emily Blunt, oh, and please. I honestly love... I love Mary Poppins. So she cute. I'm looking forward to that one. Can you guys guess mine? <laughs> I don't know. A dollar for whoever commented. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. Dumbo. How Dumbo. Come I couldn't pick Christopher Clearly Robin. Clearly, it's Dumbo. But she could pick Dumbo. Okay, know. let's get down to our trivia winners this week. So, um, just to give you guys a heads up, during oh, the week on me. our Instagram lives, we go live throughout the week and we do trivia. And um, we do live trivia, and we take, uh, we, we take points down. Whoever answers the most yes. questions by the end of the week correctly, um, we send them a prize. We announce the winner live on our show on Fridays, and then we go ahead and send them a little something to say thank you for playing along. 
So this week um, we had a lot of people that joined us, uh, new people too as well. So we appreciate all of you guys for doing that, and we have a blast with you guys. It's and so fun. It's so much fun. So we appreciate you guys all for joining in on us or joining in with us. Okay. Um, go ahead, Sienna. In third place is OMG Marcus P. Yes, Yay, Marcus. Good Marcus. Good job, Marcus. Yes, Marcus came in Marcus third rocks. place. Good in job, Marcus. Second place is Josiah Kalen. Yeah, Josiah, Josiah Kalen came Josiah. in second place. Good job, Josiah. Okay. And the winner is. And our winner is Princess Eugene Fitzherbert. Yes. Yay! She did good job. Good. You it. killed it this week, and we're so happy that you joined us. She's definitely one of our new, um, our new Instagram friends, and we've been enjoying having her in our. Um, in our lives and just all <laughs> every Wait, like our lives or like no, 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 no. <laughs> in our Instagram lives. <laughs> in our I lives. Don't know you, but joining. I love you. She's joining in our Instagram lives and we really Wait, appreciate she's her. Cute. For it. Like come here, Mika. Super she's cute. So cute. Oh, thank you her so much. Her feet is really yeah, aesthetic. Yeah, your feet is beautiful. It's definitely beautiful. So congratulations. She's you're like this week's cute. you're this week's winner. He's you trying to be friends? <laughs> so You're this week's winner, DMs. so take you if you can you. just DM uh, the Mini Mice That's your so address, and we will go ahead and send something off to you. So <laughs> thank you guys for playing along. Um, we're so happy. That's it. We're done, guys. So um, we had a great time with you guys all this week. This was so fun. Um, and... We have one little surprise in studio right now. We have a surprise. We had our dear sweet friend Hector from H&M Disney Adventures. He um, surprised us last, last, ooh, I can't talk. I'm so excited about what I'm about to see. About what you guys are all about to see that um, um, he surprised us last night with this beautiful, beautiful gift. And it's in honor of the Mini Mice's new studio, the Mini Mice's new show, and the Mini Mice's new logo. So you want to go ahead and bring that in here. Slide over the. Yeah. Here it is. It's so cute. Yeah. Look at that, everybody. Please like, don't drop how it. How amazing <laughs> is that? Just plop. Look at this. She gone. Look at this. Oh, your phone's gonna fall. We actually get to enjoy this today. So Hector, we appreciate you, Thank you so Hector. much. For it's not frosting, don't the um, clearly, you put a lot of work into this cake, oh and gosh, it's so yeah. beautiful, and we're so it's happy so to dig in. We cannot wait to dig into this right now. So okay. we're so happy. Thank you so much, Hector. Okay, now. Um, give, me, give, me, give me, give me, give me. So, um, Swag Delicious is his um, cake decorating. Swag Delicious sweets underscore it's sweets underscore sweets right behind us. It's um, he has his own cake decorating business, and he was kind enough to make us this beautiful cake beautiful. Uh, in celebration of our new Mini Mice everything. So everything. We appreciate you, Hector, so much, and we love you. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Hector. Um, we're about to cut into this right now, Ooh, but wait, I want to wish oh, we you hungry. all a very safe and happy 4th of July. Um... Uh, don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, or Google Play for those of you watching on YouTube. Alyssa. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, we are the Mini Mice the Show. Mini Mice. Um, make sure you check us out at the Mini Mice on all social media. This is the Mini Mice sounding off. Until next time, be kind and spread some magic. Don't be crusty. Don't be crusty. Ooh, I'm this. hungry. We cut this. I'm Oh, 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 oh,